Is that your sink? That's not your sink, bro. That really confused me. I was like, the fuck you doing, man? Yo, what's going on, people? It is your boy, the pacemaker here with. You serious? <laughs> with. Oh, what's my name? <laughs> I was letting you do it. Oh, you're letting me do it. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. Hagamika. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. We're doing a podcast. Uh, we we are. Doing? We are doing a podcast for a change. I thought you'd um, fucking forgot my name, man. I was no, I, how? It's your real That's name. <laughs> how can I forget? <laughs> yeah, so Extended Ops update. Oh, Which is coming out on tomorrow. the 25th. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. By the time this goes up for me, it will be... The day. The day. For me, the day it's tomorrow. <laughs> a couple of hours. <laughs> um, but loads of changes. Loads of changes have come. Lots of things that I wanted to discuss in depth in this quick, you know, 20 minute video or however long it is. Um, 20 minutes? I mean, bro, it's a podcast, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so let's talk about the classes that have had an impact and then I'll let you go in depth with the maps if you want do that fine yeah yeah, yeah. so <laughs> we'll talk classes so the first classes that have had some form of impact is the sentinel and the pathfinder um, they fixed an issue where the sentinel and the pathfinder's shots like couldn't be heard by either the enemy or the which teammate. was so annoying because I kept thinking that I was getting shot by assassins and then they'd pop me from long range and I'd go how the fuck an assassin oh, just do that oh that's what that was okay yeah. so it's taken me ages to try and figure that out Cause, well, because I'm playing Sentinel I don't know if other people yeah, can yeah, hear yeah. me so wait I've been benefiting from that loads then probably yeah <laughs> oh, I don't even know what did you fix that for <laughs> yeah because I was sitting there going like I'd often tell you guys I was like oh yeah I just got popped by an assassin you'd come and re- Revive is like, yeah, there's no one here, and then all of a sudden he'd get you from across the map. You go, how the fuck an assassin just do that shit? Oh, assassin's got mad hate. <laughs> and bro. also, do you remember when Dan, as a scout, was yeah. trying to tag that sniper? Oh, that's yeah, yeah that's another. And thing. it wouldn't let him because it would like it came it up come as up it was with an the assassin, assassin thing, and then he got close and it tagged him. That's that happened to me earlier on the live yeah, stream because yeah, yeah. I was ranger. Yeah. And uh, no, I wasn't ranger. I was sentinel, and I was zooming in on a ranger. And it caught with the circle with the cross in it, yeah, and so I was like, "Why is that?" The fuck? <laughs> Wait, did they yeah. fix that though. They, that's not what they put. You sure? They put firing a shot sound was not heard. Oh. Not the not being able to mark them thing, which is another glitch. Which that is another happening. glitch that needs to be solved if it so hasn't been already. That yeah. Needs to be considered because yeah, I, it's annoying me going to mark a ranger, coming up with the assassin or um, pathfinder symbol in it yeah. and then getting marked by mirror mark three seconds later and I'm still <laughs> trying to mark him and I'm like what you go, uh... they got a mark avoided <laughs> and then I get marked yeah. I was like okay what the fuck <laughs> uh, second class that had an impact artillery uh, launching the mortar strike the player's position would be revealed on the attack map now I haven't noticed that I haven't noticed that so but I don't play artillery. we don't play yeah, so. artillery so I would assume it's a case where They'd get they've gone, they've gone to do it and they tagged the person. But that happened to me earlier. I got tagged when they put the... Oh, no, 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 I didn't. Guy just dropped the bombs on me and I was like, he could just see me. It wasn't yeah, tagging yeah. people. So, yeah, no. So, he killed you legitimately. It's fair that they fix that. <laughs> um, Predator. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> I they, waited for this. They for have nerfed the time. Predator. Look what they've done. They nerfed the Predator to the perfect nerf that everybody wanted. It's what we need. The fairest nerf that it could be. Because the Predator was ridiculous. Like I, the health regen was too fast. Yeah, was just too I fast. literally, with the shittest aim known to man, have done a five v one. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not very accurate. <laughs> and I'm shit with the Predator. Whatever gun it is, what is it? I can't remember. <laughs> The, uh, well, there's the, the, the LMG and then there's the M16. Oh, yeah, I was using, using the, the LMG, LMG yeah. and the M9. Like yeah, whatever the fuck, yeah. whatever it is. I was shit with it, like, most. <laughs> I just oh, yeah. And I won. I was, I was like, what? <laughs> so it was really okay. It was a case of, like, yeah. as well, I had a moment, especially if you watch my rank play analysis video in the part two or the, uh, the first part, I think it was, where the Predator come to try and flank me. I hit him with a sniper bullet. Takes his health down to a smidge. Pulled out the pistol, shot him twice. I still didn't kill him. I ended up dying. I was a bit like... But now... But now, you know, the the guy is still, you know, he can't be suppressed and shit. Like, he's still going to be able to pop you rapid. But 
Their health regen has been reduced. There's no, there's no added. All the assault classes have, uh, what was it, plus thirty or something like that. But the predator literally has a hundred health now. Oh, so I can what? Yo. So you can one shot. So predator. I can one shot him now. A sniper can, a can one shot. Yeah, because they've got a hundred health. Um, and with um, adrenaline rush, uh, it's a reduced HP gain. So. Yeah, so they don't like the way in which they was gaining health before. It was gaining it rapidly. Ridiculous. It was <laughs> But like now, it will just gain a very. So basically, you can regain slower. health as long as you're not actually getting shot, which I yeah, think is good because yeah, because yeah. I can literally stand there and get shot and survive just because I'm on battle rage. There'll be someone just unloading a clip onto a predator. It's just it was disgusting when it came out. It was just like everybody's using this. Yeah, and I'm like, we're I'm, dying. I'm, every single person that was playing elite in rank play is oh what class is that? Oh yeah, predator. Oh, Pred- yeah, oh yeah, 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 okay, <laughs> right, we've we've lost. But yeah, moving on. This one affects you. Yes. The, most. the medic. The medic drone. Now, we didn't even know. I didn't know that. <laughs> that when we released the drone into the air, it's six seconds before it actually comes up visible. So the enemy can't see your drone for six seconds. I don't know. I don't think it was six seconds. I think it was yeah, probably I don't know three how true that was. At but most. I, mean, I never noticed that. Because I always, um, whenever I saw a medic go up, I'd always see the drone go up do you know what I mean yeah and you think because uh, you, you, they come from the person but I do see a lot of like seconds. drones are already in movement when they come up sometimes maybe it, maybe, though, maybe it was glitching maybe it was with the scout drone yeah where the scout drone's been out in the air and it's disappeared and then I get to move I've and then he comes shit. back I've seen that shit with people like you get the recon tower and they're there for like one second and they disappear for a few seconds and then come back and go, the fuck was that? <laughs> yeah, it's mad. It's pretty mad. Well, the, the game glitches, but there's, at the end of the day... There's still some buggy glitches, but they're working on the things that... Uh, the medic, um, I was supposed to have six seconds as a medic where I, no one knew I was there, so I had six seconds to revive someone without being known, and now it's only one second. So, so it makes it more difficult for It makes it more revive. difficult for a medic to revive, and it makes it easier to... But it, the drones aren't easy to shoot. No, they're not I easy to shoot. I shoot more time. Especially because so I've got that perk that gives me a stronger drone, so... I, I've got no problem with that. I think that's a... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's so, fine. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah fine. Yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah. Yeah. Existed. Yeah. <laughs> now we're going on to the maps, though. The maps is exciting, <laughs> oh, and I'm geez. excited about the maps. <laughs> the maps thing, man. So, uh, Bro, there know. are three maps... <laughs> that I have a lot of problems with. <laughs> One of them is warehouse. The first is warehouse, uh, where everyone would just rush into the top of the building, um, um, and it was a glitch. It wasn't just it? was not like this before. It made me laugh because the glitch came. At, was the glitch always there, or yeah, did it people, come people after the jungle re- storm? Up there? No, no, no. People started realizing. No one knew about it, and then all of a sudden, a few people on YouTube went. There's a fucking glitch where you can go up. <laughs> and, and then everyone went, oh, fuck. And then it just kind of spread. But yeah, the glitch on Warehouse was there. Um, you can get to the top. And then once you're at the top, you just pop everyone off. And it was just an exploit, basically. And they got rid of that. Thank fuck. Warehouse is fun again. Um, jungle Base. Uh, literally, Jungle Base was whoever could get into that fucking building the quickest. Um, yeah, and, it be, for that. and if you got if you got up on top of there, there was one staircase. It was it was a draw or win. There's guaranteed. actually two staircases. No, 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 there's two staircases that fold into one. So two staircases go to the first floor. One staircase goes to the second floor. All oh, right, you yeah. see what I mean? Okay, yeah. Um, I mean, I don't spend my time in the building, so yeah. <laughs> I've never. Really I always do because I'm always the fucking guy at the bottom, just going, what the fuck? I'm just shooting up. Um, but they got rid of something. Um, we blocked the upper area so they've blocked yeah, that so area so it's, it'll be the first or only the first floor or the ground floor makes me laugh though because there's another building where people camp now instead really yeah um, <laughs> I played a game <laughs> medic kept going do you know the, the, there's this the, the sniper tower on the side where you've got like the pride rock where you've got like the little rock where you oh, can yeah, yeah, see yeah, yeah, yeah. that side uh-huh. people camp in that building there's a building because it's a three story so people would put mines and shit on there. So there's been times where right. there was a medic who was the last one alive. Mm-hmm. We've killed everybody. Now we have to go up and kill the medic because he just keeps revive, trying to revive sure. people. So he, and he was just camping at the top of there, so it was a nightmare. Well, we'll see. Is, there we'll at least, see. is it at least two entrances or some shit? There's one way up and one way down. Fuck me. So they, and so then it's, it's like a little hut when you get to the top as well. But it's not, it's not like it's impenetrable, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I think... Uh, 
I can pen. I think I can shoot through it. You can shoot through it. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll see how that goes. But I mean, it's it's at least better. Yeah. You know. I mean, they yeah. moved them outside. You know, oil rig. I think is probably the fairest. Oil rig. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, wa- warehouse was a fair map before people discovered this glitch. Exactly. Warehouse. I enjoy warehouse until a sniper and a sentinel get to the top of that roof and just fuck everyone over. Do you know what's the worst thing? You get a you get a uh, an enforcer. I had an enforcer and their disruptor up there. I thought, well, I'm not going anywhere near it. <laughs> so I'm not. I'm going to stay anything. clear of that. And all the enforcers kept going. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, ah, fuck's sake. <laughs> you saw, that's another thing that I do want you to try and confirm for me. Does the when you're in an adrenaline rush, can you still be suppressed by an enforcer? I understand an enforcer's role is to suppress people to the point where they can't even like aim down sights and stuff. Uh-huh. But, but what about adrenaline? Adrenaline rush counters that, says you can't be suppressed. So uh-huh. it's either one or the other. I, just, I, I you know, I don't need Something to fix needs, it. I yeah. just need you to declare Clear which it up, one it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Um, Another thing is, you often get don't get adrenaline rush, do you, for sniper? I am the last person alive a lot, and I don't seem to get adrenaline rush sometimes. Yeah, and I know you only get one adrenaline rush per game per team, but we haven't had it yet, and you're the last man standing, and you don't get adrenaline rush. Does it only happen when you're um, a long range class? Or is it a case of like, once your health goes from 0 HP to 100 HP, the adrenaline rush goes or something? Yeah. Like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it works. Yeah. But anyway, that needs to be cleared up if yeah. it's a glitch fix. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Right. And yeah. the best one, Urban Incursion. Fuck. This map is an uplink map and everyone just rushes into that building. The main building, the uplink is inside of the building. There's, there's no a one way entrance, yeah. hallway. Uh, don't get me wrong there's sites either side there's a sure. spot that you had there's a spot that I had to see there's a couple sides, spots where you can see the recon but you have to be widely open to be able to link. see the uplink and basically yeah basically there's no spots where you can defend yourself against the, a team that's in there yeah if you get a team of four in there uh, uh, bye bye you know, as long as you it, do you've got to try and pick job. people off from the outside yeah um, um, but don't get me wrong we adapted to that map heavily it took us a while yeah but, but actually we've got a good recent tactic. times yeah we've got a good tactic now. but anyway What's happened now is they've moved it out in the open. I don't know where, but... So we'll find out tomorrow. We'll find out tomorrow. If we update it, we'll go custom games. Yeah, that so app, search. that building is now obsolete, well, it's, it's, is what well, they're we saying. Don't, well, that's what, they, that's that's what, what they've saying. hinted at. That's yeah. what they've hinted at, is now that no, not everyone's just going to rush for that building. But my fear is that everyone's going to rush for that building and they're going to have sites on the uplink station from another from place. Floor, so everyone can just hold up in there there's nothing you can do about it still if you get the uplink they can I shoot think you. it's going to be I think they've moved it from where it is to do you know like mid street you've got that little courtyard yeah, area yeah. where all the like uh, plastic chairs are and tables yeah. and stuff I think they've moved it to the outside of the building yeah, outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so that it's like in a wide open space for people to see yeah. do you know what I mean I think that's what it is but anyway so they fixed a lot of um, problems with the maps that were uh, just shit <laughs> um, and let's hope that it worked because uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. But for us, rank play had a change that we, you know, we've heard a lot that T3C weren't keen on how rank play operated. I myself felt the same. You know, I'm losing matches, but or I'm winning matches and getting deranked when. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> it makes no sense. Yeah, you win the match. Tra- you're supposed to. You're supposed yeah. to benefit. So now what they're doing is that they're doing um, instead of. For the uh, 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 first 15 placement rounds. Yeah, placement rounds. It's not placement rounds, it's placement matches now. Yeah. So, so you play 15 it. games. So it doesn't matter if you lose two and win three. No. Yeah, to lose two and win three. It, it, you're only, your points are only affected by... Yeah, so basically it's, it's, it's by the match. Yeah. One thing I do want to see them put in there is a case of just analysing if you were on the losing team that you don't get that harsh of penalty if you've got, you know, 2,000 points and the rest of your Yeah, team if you're was, carrying the team shy, but yeah. still losing but you're doing well, that should be taken into account. Yeah. Um, another thing that's good, you can't join halfway through a ranked match. I thought that as well. I was like, how come, like, I'll have some dweeb back out who's terrible not enjoying yeah. himself and then some, like, Diamond are just joining mid through, midway yeah, through, yeah, and they're yeah. like, "Well, games have flipped on its head." Now. Exactly. <laughs> so now, if someone leaves, it remains Team. three on four. Oh, okay. Right, yeah, but to kind of because obviously that's an issue, because it um 
if someone leaves, then you're given a disadvantage. There's now a much higher penalty. They haven't specified what, but there's a much higher penalty for leaving a ranked game. But this should be not as harsh of a like result for the person who's still in there. If three people left, you're on your own. Mm. You're bound to lose the match. Yeah. More likely, you're bound to lose the match. That person, because they stayed in the game, persevered, mm-hmm. should get. Yeah. You know, there should be something there. Should, they should, should be, be all right. A consideration. They shouldn't lose their yeah. rank or something. But like maybe that. they don't. We don't know. Um, no. Oh, and that's another thing as well. The abandoning matches things. If I disconnect from a game, it's not me abandoning a match. That yeah, really disconnecting, disconnecting. Disconnecting. I'm, be, I'm being disconnected from quick play games and it's giving me an abandoned strike. And, and actually, like, 90% of the time, it's not our internet connection, it's Ubisoft's bloody servers. Yeah, it's not, it's not <laughs> it's, it's you, <laughs> and you're giving us a penalty. So that needs to be sorted out. If it's sort a disconnect out, yeah. and it's not a deliberate... Because rank play, you only get like, I think it's only two or three... Yeah, and you have disconnected consistently for I think. Do you remember four, that time when? You? Do you remember that time I got five? I yeah. had five. We were sitting there going, "You get disconnected one more time, like, you one can't more play." Time I get disconnected. <laughs> I can't play for two hours. Yeah, and we two were trying hours. to play, like yeah. Just trying to play the game. Yeah. So, but yeah, yeah, but hopefully that never happens. Um, yeah, so that's all that. Let's scroll down. Like. Okay, I like this. The matchmaking rating is now calculated at the end of the match rather than the end of a round. Yeah, good. So now because ranked is um, um, based on matches, not rounds, your rank, um, you get ranked, you know, up or down or whatever. At yeah, because somebody could get promoted in a round and then lose the following round again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Don't exactly. Move. So it's a kind of a... Look, that's never stupid. happened to me. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so quick play penalties have not been changed. Fix your servers. Um... <laughs> Fix the place where incorrect warning message displayed the rank button where the next strike would grant a penalty. I'm not sure if I read that correctly. Fix the issue where an incorrect warning message was displayed on a rank button. Oh, right, okay, yeah, so you get. I People have had strikes on quick play. Yeah, and the strike, strike has come up on their ranked thing. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> that's so that's annoying. <laughs> Okay, that's fixed. If anyone was uh, fixed, an about issue that. where prestige points were not displayed at the end when you're ranking up and stuff. It didn't do that for me actually. I wasn't. I didn't. Every time I just went back to the lobby, it just tell me. How many um, can we just uh, can we just pause a sec? Because I don't know what's happened. Oh, what did you do? I pressed save video clip, and now it's not letting me. So is it saved? I don't want to go off it. You press anything. save video clip. Oh yeah. So it should be all right, yeah. Yeah, so you can't not press it again to record it. Let's just hope for this. <laughs> Sorry, right. Let's continue. All right. Okay, so we've got what we're saying here. Fix an issue where custom uh, matches with only one, with only one team would end right after players spawn. Yeah, so you were spawn in custom game. If you want to like explore the map and stuff, uh-huh. you just end. Yeah, it just ends the game because there's no other team. Yeah, I never experienced like that because I've often just gone on my own. I didn't. I had fine. to do it where I had to kill myself. For the game to end, sometimes. For really? Some re- yeah, for some reason it wouldn't let me quit All the right, game. Alright, so they've solved the uh, custom game glitches, basically, so that's good. Uh, uplink. The wrong sound Bark was playing. Okay, I think these are some. These are some just like issues that have been experienced. With, like, I've never had I've never had the wrong sound playing for the uplink, when people are going on the access point and stuff. I have had it where I've been told that it's um, not an uplink station, it's uh, it's green, but it's an uplink station. Ooh, I've had that before, and I've also had, you know when you can- Oh, so where it's a recon tower. Yeah, it's a recon it. tower, but it's not. I've had it, a recon tower on urban, urban puck, urban incursion. Yeah, but I know it's, <laughs> but I know it's not, know it's not yeah. because of, they get it and I win. And, and the rest uh, of the team might not. Exactly, and uh, I've also experienced, you know when you can talk to people, you get up that little reel, it'll say the wrong thing. So it'll be a it'll be an uplink and it says capture the recon tower. You know what I mean? So there's there's yeah, a lot of kind a of uh, there's a that's few a things that are kind of glitching out a lot. But um, you know, okay, just load of bug fixes. I'm gonna run through these really really quack the bug fixes. Bug fixes. Really really quack. What am I talking really about? Quack. <laughs> really quack. Really um, <laughs> quack. Fix an issue where a player could holster a weapon by cancelling a recon. Oh. 
Yeah, this glitch so was glitch hidden as fuck. Because that is sneaky yeah. as fuck. Because it that, used to be you could holster your weapon a long time ago, right? The start yeah, yeah, of yeah, PvP. Yeah. And what's funny is that the people that Dude. found it out... Oh, unlike, so that's why people are doing... Uh, it's not they're trying to bait us out. Some guy's trying to holster his He's trying to weapon. holster his fuck. I often, yeah, because uh, it's funny because you know the glitch in Warehouse where um, suddenly one person knew and then everyone knew about the glitch? Yeah. yeah. Right. In this one, the people that found out kept it so Told secret. No one. Literally Told only people no that discovered it on their own. And I never knew about it until I read that and I went, oh, you wankers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wanted, there's always been people trying to bait you out and you go, oh, he's baiting us out. No. no. He's put his gun away, you can see everything. Yeah, so now, now the fucking camera zoomed out. Yeah. <laughs> so that's gone. Thank God for that. Um... Oh yeah, there's that weird one where when you're spectating somebody who's in a drone, it comes up with a rotor blade, so you can't see shit. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've had that before. <laughs> that's funny. That's a funny bit. Uh, <laughs> fix an issue related to a character collision and throwable items on some body parts. Yeah, I actually experienced this once, right? It wasn't. I was uh, just playing on my own, right? And two guys were running in front of me, and they were just they stood there, and a guy threw a C4, and it landed on the other guy's back. <laughs> So now he's got a C4 in his fucking back for the entire game. Yeah. And I went, what? But yeah, they've got rid of that now, so you can't, yeah. <laughs> it's so happen. funny. I was like, well, what the fuck? Because he obviously turned around, like, the guy, They were, I think they were talking to each other, and the guy, like, clearly said something, and he started, like, moving around like this, like, moving, like, going, what the fuck's going on? That's, yeah, so they've, they've part-fixed, I'm not sure if they've part-fixed or if that will fully fix that, but the healing glitch, when you're going to yeah. revive somebody... And that's the most annoying it. glitch anyone who hasn't experienced this sometimes you go for it the, apparently the glitch is that if there was a mine on the body you get rid of the mine, get rid of the mine go and, and revive it doesn't let you revive you until revive. you go away and for a little bit and then you. come back and that's lost me a lot of games yeah and it's yeah. it's just part of anything it's frustrating as fuck because you're sitting there going I'm over this body you've got to do it as fast yeah. as possible I've, right? some people, I've been kicked from a game like voted to kick because I was hovering over a body and they're going why the fuck aren't you reviving me and I was going I'm trying <laughs> so they kicked me because they were like you're so shit you're not reviving anyone I was like I'm trying <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's bad but yeah thank god they got rid of that Jesus wow there's an issue where mine could be triggered by a player if the mine was placed above ground on an object and a player would step on the ground next to the mine, somebody could set it off. Like a C4. What? Really? I did not I know, didn't about, know that. about that one. Okay. Ooh. Fix several hood display issues. Yeah. Fix some text issues. Yeah. Yes, please. I don't want to know that I've got the King Llama shirt anymore. <laughs> I know I've got the King Llama shirt. So then, Stop telling me. Literally, every please. time you log on, I just got you play pops up and goes, oh yeah, you unlocked the uh, El Jefe cigarette. It's not going to off anymore. <laughs> Thank God Thank for you. that. <laughs> uh, slight campaign changes for people. Uh, okay. Fallen fall Ghost weapons are also in the main campaign now, so you can use the BFG on the main campaign, which is great for me. It's fun, especially yeah. when you know I'm going to be doing a series on that. You series. need to have the DLC in order to use it. You can't buy the uh, Ghost Recon guns. You know you can buy the Ghost Recon guns in PvP, mm. even if you don't have the DLC. That doesn't count. You have to, you have, have, the to have the DLC, and then it will transfer over to the original game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fix the real core recoil bug with the R4 and the MDR, uh, but that's for campaign only. So, yeah. um, user interface, colorblind mode now. Yeah, the colorblind. You can play the game. But I mean. I thought that there was already a colorblind option because if I go to options now uh, and go to yeah, it, it go says colorblind. Is it video? Yeah, colorblind, colorblind mode. mode on. There's all these different options here, but they might be broken. Maybe they're the broken. Thing don't come up. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, maybe they're just not working very well. But clearly, they meant to have a colorblind. They had the intention. Yeah, the, yeah, the thought was there. <laughs> okay, so uh, we've got like uh, like six minutes left really on, on my recording there oh, so shit, I just want to quickly talk about there is obviously a new brand new game mode extraction yeah which sounds a lot of fun two like a lot brand fun. new maps as well for that for that, for game that uh, one's called Institute and the other one's called Garage yep uh, Institute is set in um, Marcus Jensen's uh, area it's the big tower block and stuff uh -huh. where uh, all the scientists are working and stuff like that that looks like a sick that place to do it. Like a fun for everybody. Like everybody a fun can map. play that one. Every yeah. type of class can Any play class. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't know much about Garage. I can't remember where it is or I can't figure out where it is in my head. I'm sure I'll know. I mean, I saw one it. screenshot of it and it looked fun. But they look, you know, they look great. Do you, do you know how it works? The game mode works? Yeah, so one team is basically defending a hostage and the other team is trying to sneak at the hostage. So you have to away. get... There's two hostages on the map. You only have to extract one. 
So there'd be two places. There's two places where they could be. Yeah. But the hostage doesn't necessarily respond in the same one each time, I think. Oh, so you don't know. So you don't case. know. You have to work it out. Right, right so there's two spots so you have to, you have to work out. a bit more it. recon. Okay, that's made it more interesting. Not, I, okay. think that, I think that's how it works. I thought it was that you could either extract that guy or that guy. It's your choice sort of thing. But then you'd have four man run to one guy. Two people have done a split. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing. I That'd think be better then, There's yeah. two places where they can spawn. One guy spawns in one side, one guy spawns... Mm. Uh, and, and, well, one spawns either side. Yeah. Doesn't matter which one. And then you have to work out for yourself where the hostage is and extract him. Yeah. So, so I think the uh, enforcer's going to be used a lot more. Yeah. Because you imagine you've got, your, you've got your hostage that someone else is just fucking firing around. It makes it a lot harder. But all it's doing is just blurring your vision. At the end of the day, yeah. you're walking backwards, aren't you, with the guy. It's the, that's the rest of your team's trying. To yeah, that's it. You've got to defend it. That's going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to it. Good. Yeah, that'll yeah. be a good mode. Uh, and the last thing is battle crates. Battle crates. Yeah. Loads of brand new items and costumes come in. Apparently, they just. Um, it might be that you don't unlock. You don't unlock a individual item. So, like, if for instance, there's like a Santa Blanca, uh, custom set, and like you won't unlock one El Pepe's trousers or some shit. Like you'll unlock the whole outfit from mm-hmm. the battle crate. Don't know how much these are going to cost. I will have a look at the FAQ. Are they going to cost, or is it going to be in-game like prestige credits? And I would love for it to be prestige credits. I've got six thousand so far, so uh, you know. I've got so I, could pay, I keep, I keep you know, buying shit. So but like, I, you credits. know, I don't want to buy store credits all the time because you know. Mm-hmm. I'd, they're look expensive at my credit well. breakdown video to buy all the DLC snipers it's 70 and you can't even customise them <laughs> you can't customise them what the fuck <laughs> I'll change the scope I'm though. paying to customise less so yeah we'll look more into the um, there's app changes and things uh, oh, those screenshots look uh, those screenshots look really really good yeah. let me just uh, hop on this battle crates link one time <laughs> But well, this is something that I felt was coming for a long time. But by the same time, they got some stuff from Rainbow Six Siege, like character customization wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. um, but how to get battle crates? They will be four hundred store credits. Okay. So you have to. It's not prestige. It's, it's not prestige. You got to buy them. Store credits. Four hundred store credits. What's that? So three quid is it? Something like that. Uh, you, you can buy a pack for, for eight pounds. You can get one thousand seven hundred. That's all I know. For eight quid. Can you? Right, yeah. okay, so that is, you know, one, two, three. It's, it's, it's four, four, it's four battle crates. Four, yeah. four battle crates for eight quid. Um, not too bad. That's two pound a crate. Yeah. It's not too just bad. About, yeah, just about, yeah, give it a take. So, in there. Oh, so there is epic, we- epic weapons, exotic weapons, vehicles, tons of combat cosmetics and stuff for the whole campaign. As well as um, exotic weapons, so reskinned weapons. That's something that I'm, I'm going to be dying to get some reskinned snipers and stuff like that. <laughs> that I can bring for you guys. Um, yeah, uh, doesn't impact the stats on the weapons. Well, stats will remain the same. It'll just look fresh as fuck. Uh, <laughs> uh, so and there's there, no uh, duplicate system. You will not get the same thing twice. There's only so much. Oh, there's like hundreds of new items, but you will never get the same thing. Because that annoys me in Rocket League. I know we're transferring game a little bit here, oh, no. but um, literally I've got twelve of same about the same. Call of Duty. Yeah. yeah, anything that has a That's nice. That's a good thing. addition. I like yeah. that. You know, we do for first man. Oh, we do not want any of that yeah. thing. Right. So are these new exotic weapons. Yeah. Are they for PvP? They are, I believe. So I people, so it, people yeah. can buy, pay for better guns. Now. Yeah. So there's two different crates. There's a battle crate, which is a campaign crate, and then there is the uh, ghost war crate. Which oh. is the PvP crates? I will okay. invest in the PvP crates. I'll invest in the We PvP. play that more. It feels like does it? Will it become a sort of the sort of thing where uh, you really have to buy it in order to be any good? You know, because if I'm a medic, I'm, I'm up against a medic with a better gun. No, 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 no. Cosmetics only, so no impact on the weapon stats. Exactly the same, just got banging camo on it or something. Right, I see what you're saying. Perfectly, okay, so no per- shit. Right, okay. literally the perfect system. For any type of supply drops or external, um, what's it called? You know, uh, D- DLC, DLCs microtransactions. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm looking for. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Anyway, I'll wrap this up. Okay. Uh, bringing you a nice, neat little podcast. Yeah. If you and want more, then let us know, and we'll uh, we'll talk about any game really. Fuck it. <laughs> I'll taste the thing. Anything we'll you're interested out. in.
with the uh, team announcement, me, Hakimika, off limits, WrestleMania. We are going into the Pro League Series 4. The PS4. Ghost War League. If you feel like you can beat us, uh, feel free to join. No, don't tell them that. I want less people. Bro, we've got like proper professional organisations going off against this stuff, man. It's scary. Oh, it's going to be fun, though. I've been mean, looking forward to it. We've been looking forward to this it's for a long be time. Good. Yeah. So, yeah. so tune in ready. next month and that'll be there. We're gonna m- we're both going to be live streaming it. So um, It's going to be crazy. Yeah. It's going to be hella good. Hopefully we're in that prize pool. We've got to come top four, man. We've got to come top four. <laughs> got to do it. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Yeah. Stay fresh, stay out of trouble. Peace. Yeah.